Hey guys, this is Autodesk Guy coming at you with tutorial number three. Today we are going to be talking about how to create a drawing from a part that you just created. So, if you haven't already, open up Autodesk Inventor and we're going to go up to the Applications window. And if you haven't already, I want you to go back to tutorial number two and create the part that I created in that tutorial because what's going to happen is we're going to open this file right now and it's going to be right here and I'm just going to open it up and this is the part that we're going to be using okay so I want you guys to have this saved I don't need this up I already have it in there I want to go to new I want to go to drawing once we're at this point this is this is your template this is your layout um, as you can see uh, this is the create toolbar uh, it'll let you create projections auxiliary views section views if you're trying to cut something in a half um, and then over here you got break lines for long pieces um, as you can see right here by this display uh, if let's say it's just a long piece of uh, an eye beam or something you can break it and uh, shorten the length. Anyways, moving on, what we're going to do is we're going to click the base and we're going to go into here and we're going to select part one, the part that we just created from tutorial number two. And we're going to open the front orientation and we're going to drag it over here. From this point, we can create the top and the side view by just clicking projected view up here in the create toolbar doing the top view going to the right selecting the side view and then doing an isometric to create uh, these images here all you do is right click and create it's very simple when in doubt right click moving on from this point we need a few dimensions and um, the best way to do this is just by selecting the uh, the view and clicking retrieve dimensions by right clicking we're gonna go into select dimensions and you can do select view to select this view or the side view the other side view top view it doesn't matter but we want to select the all the necessary dimensions that it will take to tell another person how to create this part. That's what you gotta ask yourself. Can I give this drawing over to somebody else and have them create it successfully? And with ease, that is the key. So let's do this. We're gonna move this over here. Line everything up. Get everything looking pretty, you know? I mean come on. And drop this down to here. Don't worry about these gaps. We're going to be adding center lines in here, so don't worry about that. Okay. Please. We're going to drag this over here. I, I'm trying to get everything nice and lined up. Okay. There we go. And it's pretty much just a matter of dragging stuff, really. There we go. This is a the completed uh, front view with dimensions. All we are forgetting is the center marks, which we we can get to and we can add right now. We can go up to the annotate tab, and over here at symbols, it has the center mark button. And all it, all you have to do is select the circle, and it'll add all the center marks. And this just tells you where the base point is if you need to machine it, um, where the center point is so you have an accurate uh, and complete part. So let's try it again. Let's try the same step um, over here on this drawing. Okay. I need to complete that because I was still in that command. Oops. I'm having problems here, guys. We're going to go down and retrieve dimension, select dimension, and all you really need from this drawing 
is this dimension right here. It's just the thickness of the part, the extrusion that we did in the other, uh, in the part five. There we go. And that's all, I mean, that's pretty much all you need there. This is a simple tutorial on how to create a uh, drawing file uh, after you create a part. If you liked my video, please subscribe. Check me out on Facebook. I am the Autodesk Guy. I'm always checking my email, so if you guys have any questions, please feel free to email me. And if you're looking for more new information, uh, check me out on Amazon.com. I'm now uh, selling my book, so um, don't hesitate to look into it. Thanks.